What's up, Freaks and Geeks? Your boy once again with the reviews that you love. And today, you already know, it's Flash Tuesday. But before we get into that, like I said, we're going to do two reviews each video. So this is Supergirl and Flash. Tomorrow will be, well, not tomorrow, but Thursday will be Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow. So let's just get into the Flash, uh, not the Flash, Supergirl, Flash, Flashpoint, Super Flashpoint, whatever. Uh, <laughs> The review we're going to do right now is uh, Supergirl, The Last Children of Krypton. And the episode starts with both Kara and Clark, or Supergirl and Superman, both just going around, uh, what is the city called? Not Metropolis, National City. Uh, National City, just stopping, you know, buildings from falling, people who robbing stores, which, I'm sorry, you live in a world where Supergirl and Superman exist. Do you really think Bullets and punching them is going to work. Like, even Superman, like, my dude, like, straight up, bow, right in the jaw, ah, like, okay. He even, like, said straight up, if bullets didn't work, why the punching? I always wondered that. Like, why? Why would you do it? Like, I'm sorry. If Supergirl and Superman just stopped my car completely, I'm shooting and bullets bottom up, I'm just going to turn myself in at this point. It don't make no sense to even try to stop me unless I got a kryptonite, like, rocket or something. I'm not going to sink. I ain't gonna do nothing. Can I get time, good time off for like trying to turn myself in? So, no? Okay. But um, you can tell there's still a bit of tension between Martian Man and Superman, which doesn't help when impaired, when um, what's what they're called? Uh, Animus took your boy from the last episode and turned him into Metello, which sounds like Nutella. I'm, don't, don't mind me. Anyways, um, uh, he. Kind of almost beat both of them. Because, of course, Mattel has the kryptonite in his chest to weaken them both. Superman, like, just straight punched him in the jaw. Like, yeah, that did nothing. He, like, literally was wiping, not, I wouldn't say wiping the floor room, but they weren't winning. It just was, this wasn't a fair matchup. But then your boy Superman came in with that shoulder block, sent him across the bridge, across the continent. I don't know how they found this dude, but whatever. Uh, so, of course... Superman and John Jones are not in the best relationship because the DEO has kryptonite that could hurt both of them. And now apparently there's a mole taking kryptonite to give to Adamus, which explains how they got the kryptonite. And I mean, the, 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 nah, sorry, like they were about to go at it, which your boy was just like, Superman and Motion Man are about to fight. This is great. This is bad. This is amazing. I'm going to cry. What? My dude, you went through like a wide variety of emotions. On the flip side of Supergirl, you have Kara trying to, I guess, figure out her place as a reporter. Her first day, she is assigned to, um, uh, what's this dude's name? Um, I really don't even remember this dude's name. I probably will later on, um. Sorry, but I think it was C. Cor Corban, Cor Cor something like that. And, like, he straight up told her, like, I don't like you. You're not, you haven't earned this spot. You need to earn. You need, need to pretty much prove yourself to me. And Kara was like, you went back to your girl. Uh, uh, where's her name? Um, like, I'm not going to lie. I haven't watched a lot of Supergirl, so, like, a lot of their names are blah. Uh, uh, cat, cat, uh. Goes to cat to like make him be nice to me. Like you're a grown ass adult. Like how do you? I don't understand that. How are you a grown woman with superpowers, but you are such a pushover. Like you let this man walk all over you. Come on. And you know, cat in a weird way motivated her. But then also told like, by the way, I'm leaving. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna leave cat going. So like she she Kara is. When she's Supergirl, she's strong. She can handle anything. When she's Kara, this is a emotional child. Like, I'm sorry. Like, Superman wanted to go back to Metropolis because he's been gone for a few days, of course. Kat's leaving. Her relationship didn't work out with Jane. So she's like, you know what? I'm going to go to Metropolis too, be by my cousin so I can actually learn from and feel like I'm not alone in the world. And her sister, her sister's like, hmm, hmm, okay, okay. Um, I've kept my mouth shut, so I'm just, I'm just going to open everything. I have given a lot to protect you, like, two years of my life. 
gone. I gave up a master's degree in like medical, I believe. Um, she's she joined DEO to protect her to keep her safe. Like she's given up a lot. So and then her father's still missing by a cannabis. So like it this it this episode's a lot surrounds around a lot around uh, cousins trying to you know bond with one another and one becoming trying to stand her own and also sisters like this Supergirl is one of those shows I think a lot of sisters should probably watch like regardless of race regardless just sisters in general should watch this show to like I guess have something to bond over I believe that's just my opinion I could be wrong but um of course they later on they find out the mole and your girl just straight up takes out well not uh not her oh what's, what's the girl's name um uh, she she works at Academy. She shoots the mole, then like just brags about like I have your father. I'll tell I'll tell her you said hi by the way. Like like some who something with the CW. Like someone turned up the savageness on everyone's show to like a whole new level. Like goddamn. Um, let's see. Oh god, who else? I'm trying to remember everything from this episode. Oh, uh, Kara comes in, saves her sister. They both realize they're trying to divide us. So let's let them devise, but you, me, you have a plan. So they, they have these, like, shields, the children from the Kryptonite, which I think they already knew was not going to last very long. So they have uh, Kara and her sister, and Martian Manhunter, and Superman. They just went, one Metropolis, one at um, National City, and just both took out the two now. We had two at this point, Metallos, because... Their doctor was helping make Metal. Apparently, we just gonna convert him to Metal and rip out his heart, and somehow him be alive. Like, even said like, we're gonna put you in time. Like, somebody, like put you in time out now. You no, know, like, think about what you did. I I'm sorry, you just ripped out this man's green heart. How is he still alive? Can someone explain this to me? Like, is this, is this like a, a biological thing in him that keeps him? Alive? I don't know. Overall, I enjoyed it. Fun episode. There were some things that I didn't like, like um. Uh, Kara constantly being like this, um, like weak emotional character, like to me. When she's Supergirl, she's one thing, but when she's not, she's like a really, really big pushover, like really big pushover, and that that seems to that that annoyed me a little bit. Um, the CGI was on point. Uh, they didn't. I don't know. This is like another one of those things where I did not watch the first season, so I might have missed out on a lot of things. So I, I. I'm trying my best here with y'all, but I don't know. Like, there was there was good humor, a lot of things that I I, I would like to know more about with Martian Manhunter and Superman. Like I, I, they kind of touched on a little bit with them being the um, Fortress of Solitude, but I don't know. I feel like I need a little bit more on that. Overall, solid episode. Um, just solid episode. Like really, that's it. It was a solid episode. I enjoyed it. Um, you should watch it. Please, go ahead, watch it. It should be on, like, YouTube or CBS or, not CBS, CW, wherever it's on. One of, one of those stations, watch it. Anyways, uh, now we can get into the uh, Flash review, uh, Magenta, which... <laughs> so, uh, Magenta, if I'm right, is a... Uh, I don't think she's a hero. I don't think she's a... I don't even remember what the hell Magenta was, to be honest. Like, let me... Let's go to my laptop real quick. Let's... Pull up magenta. I completely spelled my spell magenta already. Like I'm off to a horrible start. Start. Anyways, um, Barry is one is trying to go on a date with Iris, and here's my one qualm about this. Um, so this man literally paid for like all the flowers at this woman's um stand. Paid for all the flowers. Present to Iris this giant, beautiful, like heart thing. What the hell? What is this? No, that is not what I typed in. Um. Oh, cause I typed it wrong again. And made this big heart. And like it's too much. It's too much. Is it too much? Yeah, it's too much. I'm changing it to Iris. Keep in mind, there are people. Literally, like here am I. Here's Iris. Meet your Iris. Okay, your Iris. Your Iris. I'm Barry. Clearly. There are people literally. You can't see my arm, but like, that. Look, look to your right, and look at the like the closest thing, like to your right, like maybe like 
five feet, like five, ten feet away from you. They're not far away. They're right there. He's just zoop, 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 changing from a heart to an iris. Like, who? How y'all not see this? Please tell me, how did no one see this man just zoom, 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 turn a heart into the leather's iris? Like, you mean to tell me no one saw this? Not one person saw this. No one saw this at all. Okay. All right. You know what? I get it. It's a comic book show, CW, TV, whatever. I understand that. But come on. You really mean to tell me? You really need, really mean to tell me? No one saw this man. I know he's the Flash, but you mean to tell me no one saw no lightning bolts or nothing, no, nothing at all? Okay. All right. Fine. Whatever. We we'll live in this world that no one sees anything apparently, and um, <laughs> they try to go on a date and Iris like no Flash, no powers. Let's just be regular people. You live in Central City. There is literally crime happening like almost 24 hours a day. That's not the tar that's not the TARDIS. I am not the doctor. Calm down. Um So of course, you know, Barry has stopped that and I don't know what they're trying to do, because I understand they like Barry once again changed the timeline. So now they like that relationship is weird. Like it's been really weird regardless, because I mean it's what? Why? Why are y'all calling me? What? 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 I don't know. I don't want. How do I mute you? How did, there. Okay. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, their relationship is weird because they're trying to, they're trying to rekindle. I think what was they had in, before Barry went back in time, but it's I don't know if they're gonna really do that because it's it's that chemistry is not really there anymore to me at least. I really think he should be with Patty, but that's just my opinion. Um. So they both get called to head back to the lab because apparently a breach has opened. Now, they say they closed all the breaches, so of course I would be concerned that a breach is open. Who's coming to do the breach? Harrison Wells. Oh, God. Is it Good Wells or Bad Wells? Good Wells? Good Wells. Cool, because I can't deal with another Bad Wells because that was too much emotional. That's too emotionally taxing. And Jesse's here. Why is Jesse a speedster? Oh, that's right. Last season, both her and Wally got hit by the Dark Matter, and one of them had to become a speedster. I was expecting Wally, but apparently it was Jesse. Who got hit, who turned to a speedster and now well this is like that overprotective dad like I need y'all to do tests and by tests I mean talk her out of this by don't let her become a hero please I can't take this and you know she she's fast apparently she's like I don't know they never said how fast she is but she's apparently fast like really really freakishly fast like obviously I mean you're a speedster you're obviously flat fast but like the way they were saying, like, you are really, really quick. Like, I don't know, maybe she's faster than Barry. Maybe she's not. I don't know. They never got into it. Um, the whole, like, the whole episode really revolved around both Magenta and uh, Jesse. With Wally kind of in the middle, of, like, you know, all y'all got powers. I would like powers, too. I would like to, you know, save people. And everyone's like, no, please don't. Like, you need to stay in school, focus on your studies. And this was, I don't know, like, Tom Felton, Drap Malfoy, is an ass. Like, I, he's, I don't even know what he is. Like, he's not, he's a cop, but I don't know if he's a villain. Like, he's just a, like, a really douchebag guy. Like, he literally forced Magenta, the, like, uh, the, uh, I don't know, I don't remember her name. Uh, the girl who was playing Magenta to become Magenta, and like he almost got himself killed. And it's, I really don't like. I like and don't like the the character. He's a good. I wouldn't say protagonist. I know. Well, I guess I would say that. Uh, cause Barry's like trying to keep a secret, but this dude is like, I don't trust you. I don't like you. There's something about you. All these people think you're such a goody two shoes. Something's off about you. And he's just a dick, like just straight up dick. Um, over, but sorry, I'm like all over the place because it's like I'm trying to piece everything together. Um, this uh, Frankie, right? Frankie came from, of course, an abusive household. Her dad was a dick, like Frost's dad was a dick, and like there's no food on the table. I work hard, like, like give a foodie man, calm down, like just like he's clearly abusing this child. And she hit 
with a light post. Like, just straight, whoo Oh, it was great. It was a good scene. Should watch it. Should be on YouTube at this point. Um, so you have that. You have that mother who, of course, Dr. Alchemy turned into, to her into. And Barry's kind of like, this is all my fault. And then, like, uh, Wells, they went to this new speed lab, which Barry's like, I've never been here. And, like, you've never, you went back in time. Like, literally, 15 seconds. He is literally in back. 15 seconds. He's all like, you went back in time. What did I tell you, Barry? What did I tell you about going back in time? He's like, I, I know. We've already covered it. But, um, I don't know. This was, this was a cool episode. It did, there was not a lot. There was action, but not the punchy kicking out kind of action. There was, it was more of a speedster action. It was, um, Barry just trying to help. Trying to understand her. And then you also have Jesse, who's like starting to come to her own as a speedster, which now apparently we're going to have both Barry and Jesse as speedsters on the show. Which I'm pretty sure is gonna lead up lead up with Wally becoming a speedster. Which how does both Barry, not Barry, uh, Wally, Jesse, uh, the rival, Zoom, even Jay, all have amazing costumes, but Barry still has the same old one from the beginning of season two. Like everyone's got these cool like Jesse's outfit looks on point. It looks nice. It has like the black. Like, uh, outline with the flash. It looks nice. It really does. But Barry still has this, just the red suit with the white. Like, I don't know. I feel, they could up, I feel like they might upgrade the suit later on. But overall, another good episode. Not personally, you know, this is not my favorite. This was not one of my favorites. It wasn't a lot of things that, like, kept me, in, like, kept me drawn in. But... The things that did kept me going, if that makes sense. I don't think it makes sense, but it makes sense to me. Um, overall, another good. It was a good episode. Not as not as good as the first two, but still a good episode. Um, kind of interested to see how this goes now because the next episode, which I'm excited for, is Mirror Master, which is something that everyone wanted in season two. So I'm excited for that one. This one, it was good. It wasn't great, but it was good. Um, I think that's really that's really it. That's all I got for y'all. Really, um, not the best review. I apologize for that. I need to. I would have notes, but of course, my laptop is a piece of junk. So of course, it fails me in that. Um, but overall, good episode. I enjoyed it. Both CW shows this week were pretty good. Um, not as strong as last week, but still a strong week. I'm excited for Arrow tomorrow and Legends because that season premiere. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit on board with Legends right now, so um, you'll see that review on I want to say Friday, Friday or Saturday, maybe. Who knows? Uh. Um, but yeah, that's it. This is Brian of Geekswire once again with the reviews. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button down somewhere here. I don't. I kind of can't tell where it is, but it's somewhere here, somewhere down there. Uh, subscribe for more videos. Uh, look for our videos on MechaCon, Comic-Con, um, be playing W 2 k 17 a few videos of Forza, uh, stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much it, so... Bye! I really have a problem with like watching that Big Hero 6 so much. I guess it's an issue, but whatever. Bye!